I kind of got into like G-rated fly girl stuff. <laughs> You know, like when I got into TLC, I went through this weird phase when I was 12 where I would wear my dad's leisure suit shirts, yeah. button-ups as dresses yeah. with like fishnets and Doc Martin. Because I spend so much of the year touring, I've developed like the uniform yeah. version of how I dress. If I'm going away for a week or six weeks, I pack the exact same things. You've caught me on like the laundry day. So yeah. anyway, this is, um, just a silk undershirt that I got at the Goodwill near my house. It's probably my favorite shirt. I loan it to my guitar player, Andrew, because when he wears it, it's like super sexy because mm -hmm. it's sheer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just bought them like a few days ago for Coachella. Yeah, I, I'm addicted. You need a key to take them off. I figured out how to how to jimmy it with a bobby pin though, so. They're wild fox, they sent me a pair for Coachella and I've been looking for cat eyes that work with my face for probably my whole life. So. <laughs> I think most of my tattoos are commemorative. This is for my mom who passed away a couple years ago. Doris, which is where Dee Dee comes from. This is uh, for my husband. It's for my grandmother. We got a band tattoo very early on into being a band. I'm like too sentimental. Yeah, this was my mom's cross. I started singing in bands probably in 2001. That was where all my time and energy went for years and years and years. I didn't like the band I was in. You know, I wasn't writing music. Mm -hmm. I was just in somebody else's band. And I quit all the bands. It was scary to quit everything that I knew and to just get a job again. I started writing songs, and the first couple of songs that I wrote, I put on MySpace, called it Dum Dum Girls, and the rest is history. No, and then, um, <laughs> Just out of crazy luck, I think a friend requested this label who I really liked and he must have just listened to a song, mm -hmm. uh, asked me to put out a 7 inch. I've always had self-esteem, self-confidence, I'm like a wallflower type. I'm a pretty quiet person, I generally am like out of the picture and then we play and then I'm, and then I'm gone again, yeah. but crossing over into playing, like there's, I can't think of a more fulfilling, transcendent moment than when you're having a good show and you're just in the in the moment. Like, there's nothing like it. I've never found any. I mean, maybe like super good sex or something. <laughs> yeah. But it's like it's it's its own thing, and um, so I just spend my time chasing that feeling. Like yeah. that's the motivation.